here is my bit mangler. This, okay, I'll walk through the parts of it. The signal comes in to here. This controls the gain. Uh, then it, the signal moves to the analog to digital converter, which is right here. And there's the adjustable clock to control how fast that goes. Then the signal goes through this ribbon cable to uh, some two switches right there, which are integrated chips CD4066. Now those switches are turned on and off by this. This is a comparator, uh, just normal op amps set up as comparators. And then the signal that gets switched on and off goes to another set of comparators, comparators, which allow the signal to maintain its level, like loudness, by duplicating previous or more, more significant bits to the bits below it. And then after there, it goes to the digital to audio converter right there. I'm going to turn up the amplifier. We can listen to it. You can see the top of the sine wave is getting chopped off. Getting the voltage reference perfect is quite a challenge. So first I'm going to reduce and raise the gain to show what I'm talking about. So with it, with the gain lower, you get the whole wave, but that's no good because you're using fewer bits. So here's the gain all the way up. I'll reduce the speed. That's reducing the sample rate. Now I'll reduce the bit depth. It's frustrating because I lose the last two. Here's one bit. Two bits. Three bits. Four, five, six. And I can't tell if there's a seventh in there. But the possibilities for wave mangling are endless. Well, there's these two options, two possibilities.